Yo, what's up y'all? This is Alex Akeeg. Welcome to my channel. Now today's video, I'm gonna be hitting arms. I'm gonna be breaking down the proper form technique on how to do certain workouts for your biceps and triceps. All right, so before getting started, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and give it a thumbs up. Now with that being said guys, let's get to it y'all. All right, so the first workout we're gonna do is barbell curls, right? This is one of my favorite and this is the first workout that I like to integrate as far as for biceps. So I like using a straight bar just because it targets the short and the long head of the bicep, right? So the way you wanna actually get into position is you wanna keep your chest up, shoulders down, and keep your elbows in place, right? A lot of times people do this, right? They start to elevate their elbows, they start to move their shoulders, they start to use a little bit of swing, right? So you, the way you wanna like set up for this position, keep your chest up, shoulders down, elbows back, right? And keep your wrists neutral. Now for your wrist, it doesn't have to be completely neutral. It can keep you slightly extended, right? From here, squeeze at the bicep, slow on the way down. Another thing that a lot of people do is they curl the wrist. They do this, right? And what happens when you curl your wrist is you're no longer putting a lot of emphasis on your bicep, but more on your forearms, right? So you're not gonna really activate too much on the biceps. So that's another tip for you guys. Second bicep variation that I like to incorporate are reverse or a fixed barbell curl. Now the difference between the fixed barbell or the reverse curls and the straight bar, right? A lot of people, they have like aggravation or they don't feel comfortable holding it with a straight bar because you know, they have either a weak wrist or their wrist isn't as, it doesn't feel comfortable for people. So the barbell is kind of like curved, right? So where I have my hand, I like to keep it here. For some people, they like keeping it inwards. Right, so because it has more flexibility on the wrist, right? So this is where I keep it. Keep your elbows tucked, chest up, shoulders down. <sighs> Squeeze at the bicep. All right. Remember, it's always quality over quantity. I never lift super heavy on the biceps or any type of movement, right? I like focusing on the slow and controlled tempo. So you want to keep your chest, always keep your chest up, shoulders down. Squeeze at the bicep. And if you notice, my wrist is neutral or slightly bent. So for triceps, dips is one of my favorite arm workouts, right? Because with the dip variation, you're targeting multiple muscle groups. Unlike a, a rope pushdown where you're just targeting the triceps, you're working a little bit of your chest, you're working a little bit of your core, and you're working a little bit of your front shoulders. You want to make sure your chest is up. As you come down, lean forward slightly, right? And you want to get down to about 90 degrees, all right? And then from here, lock out the triceps. Locking out the triceps, it's gonna really activate that muscle. So the next workout is gonna be dumbbell hammer curls. Now this workout is gonna be targeting more of the long head, which is the outer region of your biceps. So 
Your palms are gonna be neutral. Keep your chest up, shoulders down. Wrists neutral, elbows to your side. Squeeze at the biceps. Slow on the way down. <sighs> Another tricep workout that I like to incorporate is the cable tri extension. Absolute favorite. So the way you want to get into the position for this is you want to make sure you keep your elbows tucked to your body, right? This, you don't want to have it too far out coming all the way from out here and then bringing it down. You're not going to get too much tricep extension. So you want to make sure you get a little bit closer so that way the cable is coming straight down. So from here, keep your elbows tucked, keep your shoulders down. Right, lean forward slightly, not too much. You don't want to uh, lean forward too excessively. So just right about here. And then you want to break, make sure you lock out your triceps at the bottom. Stop to about chest level, here. So another tricep exercise that I like to incorporate is the cable rope pushdowns. So the difference between the rope and the one I was just using, which is the straight bar, is this is gonna put a lot more isolation on the long head of the tricep, all right, which is the back side of your arm. So to get in position, it's gonna be chest up, shoulders down, elbows to your side, and look at the rotation of my wrists. A lot of times when people do this, they just push straight down, which is not bad. But if you want to activate more parts of the tricep region, you want to make sure you, your index finger comes out to the side of your butt. See that? Versus here. You can tell a big difference on my tricep. This variation, and then when I turn my wrist, So the last exercise that I like to incorporate on arm day is gonna be the dumbbell 21s. So the 21s is a staple in the bodybuilding industry, and this is what I like to incorporate as a burnout set. So for the to dumbbell 21s, you're gonna be targeting primarily the long head of the bicep, which is the outer part of the bicep. All right, so the way you wanna do this, obviously is to start with your elbows to your side, chest up, shoulders down. You're basically gonna go seven halfway up, after you hit seven here, you're gonna go seven on the way up, stop halfway down, seven reps here. And then after that, you're gonna do a full range of seven reps. All right, so let's get to it, y'all.
so that's it guys this is the arm day now i gave you guys my favorite arm exercises i gave you guys the specific cues how to do proper form and technique and the style of training that i did so if you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel give it a thumbs up and don't forget to follow me on my instagram at alex the key until then we'll see y'all next time thanks for watching y'all